Malaria is the most important parasitic disease in the world. And of the 300 to 500 million cases each year, nearly 2 million people die. The malaria parasite is a single-celled organism, or protozoan, too small to be seen by the naked eye. In nature, malaria parasites spread by infecting successively two types of host, human and mosquito. Sporozoites are injected into the human host when the infected female Anopheles mosquito takes a blood meal. Within 30 minutes, the sporozoites invade the human liver cells, or hepatocytes, where they produce thousands of merozoites within a week. Recent studies show that the parasite buds from the dead liver cells into mirosomes, thereby cloaking themselves from the human immune system. The mirosomes enter the bloodstream from the liver. The mirozoites are released from the mirosomes, where they invade and infect red blood cells. The growing parasite consumes and degrades intracellular proteins in the red blood cells, mainly hemoglobin. The parasite multiplies in the red blood cells to form new merozoites. This typically takes two days. These blood stages are responsible for the symptoms of malaria, including fevers, shivering, anemia, pain in the joints, headache, and severe vomiting. If left untreated, the disease may progress to severe anemia, convulsions, coma, and death. The infected red blood cells adhere to capillary walls deep within the vasculature, protecting them from the normal human immune responses. The infected blood cells burst, releasing merozoites which infect new cells. Some merozoites invade the red blood cells and develop into gametocytes, the sexual stages of the parasite. This process can take 10 to 12 days. The gametocytes are drawn into another mosquito when it takes a blood meal from an infected human host. While in the mosquito's stomach, the male and female gametocytes shed their red blood cell hosts and develop into gametes. The gametes fuse to form a zygote. After fertilization, the zygote elongates and becomes motile, forming the ookinete, which then invades the midgut wall of the mosquito and develops into an oocyst. The oocyst matures and divides, producing about 1,000 new sporozoites. After about five to seven days, the oocyst ruptures, releasing sporozoites into the body cavity of the mosquito. They migrate to the salivary glands, where they can survive for up to 59 days. Now ready to infect another human host.